Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlemon.com and this is a SQL Server 2014 tutorial series by me and in this video we are going to discuss about select statement in SQL Server. This is the content for this video. Let's discuss first what is select statement in T-SQL or SQL Server. Select statement is used to retrieve data from database. Okay, and this is the syntax for retrieve data from database okay right now you are not able to understand anything so no problem i am going to explain each and every clause used in this syntax so this is the clause which used in the syntax of select with select into from where group by having union accept and intersect order by compute for option for this video i am going to show how to use select and from close in select statement so this is the sample query of select let's open sql server management studio and execute these queries a quick way to open sql server management studio is ssms type press enter to open how to open a query editor window after connecting on database simply click on new query or press ctrl n these are commands and this is our first select statement which we are going to execute f5 or ctrl e to execute or you can click execute this is our first select statement now what this select statement is doing this select statement is retrieving hello world literal now execute this this select select statement is retrieving fun and one is our literal now your question what is literal a literal is a string or number now get date get date is function which return current date of server we are going to use select to retrieve current date of server execute and this is our current date now next clause is from clause you can combine select clause and from clause to retrieve data from a database table and this is the syntax of uh, select and from statement select star from table source and table source is nothing but full qualified name of your table name and it contains first server name next database name third schema name and last is your table name for this video i am not going to show server name this i am going to explain in link server video for the timing you can skip this so this is the full qualified name of a table i install i attach adventure work database in my sql server 2014 and i am going to use to demonstrate select and from clause so we are going to retrieve data from our human resources dot employees so type select star from my database name is adventure works 2014 select star from adventure works 2014 dot my schema name is human resource and my table name is employee and execute this is my first select from query now you think what star means star means all it means bring all the column of employee table 
what if you want to retrieve only selected column for example you have to extract job title and birth that only then type select star from adventure work 2014 human resource employee and my column name is job title execute your query executed successfully now if you want to retry more than one column then mention all the column separated by a comma now i want to retry job title and birth that select your query and execute you can skip for example you have to execute multiple queries then you have to let's say my first query is driving all the data all columns my next query is driving only job title my last query is retrieving only birth date now in this scenario i have to type database name always so you can avoid writing the database name using use database command what is does sorry use your database name what this the command does it's change your current database okay so let's say i am using current database adventure work and execute now my current database is adventure works 2014 now you can modify this query in this format you can skip your database and execute here all query executed successfully but in this scenario you can use only table which is available in adventure work database what if you want to execute or retrieve a data from another database then you have to mention fully qualified name of your database table for example i have a database vlemon and i have to retrieve data from dbo employee star from vlemon dot dbo dot employee your query executed successfully now what happen in this scenario if i not type the data schema name my query look like select star from database name is vlemon dot dot and my table name is this query is going to work yes this query is going to work dot dot means use my default schema dbo for this query so your select star from vlemon dot dbo dot employee is equivalent to select star from vlemon dot dot employee but as a best practice always use fully qualified name of your table and this is your fully qualified name of table Now I am going to show how to use alias in your query. Now what is alias? Alias is just another another name of something, or you can say alternative name of your original name. For example, I have a very sensitive data in my let's see human resource table. Okay. let's say mm salary flag is very sensitive information so i can change my salary flag column name to something else 
by using alias xyz column so my salary flag column is why it is failed something I misspelled so let's start from my salary flag is S A L A sorry R I E D F L A G so my syntax is as XYZ now no one say what is XYZ I hide my original name with something now how to use alias simple if you want to hide a column name or table name simply type as after typing column name or table name and new name in this example we hide our CLD flag column with new name XYZ you can hide your table name also let's say my EMP table another benefit of your another benef benefit of alias for example you have a employee table which contains employee first name and last name and as per my requirement okay employee table is not contained first name last name I think person dot person contain first name and last name person dot person this table contains the first name and last name now I am creating a calculated column based on these two column and it is combining my first name and last name to bring a full name so this is my calculated column and I have no column name for this calculated column so in this scenario I can use alias name so my first name last name is full name so you can use alias name in this scenario also another benefit of your alias name is let's say I have a very big table name and I want to use this table name let's see table name in join then you can give a table name t1 and then perform join and you can bring data using your alias name t1 dot t1 dot last name I'm not going to show join in this video I separately created a video on join and you can check how to join two tables for this video just simply remember that alias name helped you to write shorter queries now in my next video I am going to show how to use common operations such as plus minus division and percentage in your SQL query I am also going to show how to use count is null coles and concat function for this video you uh, you can exercise what you learn by following exercise item first change your database to master I just now I saw show how to change your database you can use this and select click on this drop down and select your database name then retrieve all column from human resource dot employee in second exercise you can again change the database name to master and change the database name again change the database name to adventureworks 2014 using use command then retrieve data from person dot person first name and last name 
in third exercise you have to change the alias name of first and last name is first space name and last space name in last alias you have to give alias for employee department history and use this alias name in front of column as I show here that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share your share with your friends thank you for watching and bye